everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm actually going to be talking about and comparing one of the most talked about at home IPL devices and that product is this. So this is the Ulike IPL hair removal device. Um, this is the Air 10 and I am actually going to be comparing it with this one right here which is the Air 3. So if you would like to know a little bit more about these products then please keep on watching. So just before we get into the video, I just want to do a little disclaimer. So both of these products, what I'm going to be talking about today, have actually been previously gifted to me by Ulike. So Ulike actually got in touch with me a few months ago and asked if I wanted to review one of their products. Obviously I said yes, because if you are like me, who hates hair growth and you know I've got really dark stubborn hair so I thought you know what this product is perfect so of course I said yeah so this was the device that they actually asked me to review this is the Air 3 um, this device I do have a full in-depth review on my channel for already I will leave that link down in the description box if you want to go check that out you can but they also got back in touch with me just before I went on holiday I think it were um, so I went to Ibiza in May when I got back I received my product and um, yeah this is the Air 10 so this is their newest IPL device so basically all I'm going to do today is compare the two products you know tell you a little bit of information about both and um, yeah you know this hopefully might give you a bit of an idea as to which kind of product you'd rather go for so at the moment I know for a fact these are very very talked about online I've seen them all over TikTok all over my Instagram you know even on YouTube so I obviously post on all three platforms so I have noticed these being talked about quite a lot so it does seem like the new up-and-coming device now I have used um, laser products in the past from other companies um, you know things before I even started doing YouTube I've also had actual laser removal um, done like in salon but these are the only two products that I am currently using at the moment. So just to give you a little background before we get into it, I actually started using the Air 3 device from around January till up until going on holiday in May. So just short of five months I used this and the results that I got I was very happy with. Like I said, if you want to know more about any of this, go check out the other video. I do a full in-depth video on this particular device. But since coming back off holiday, I had already got rid of hair in the areas that I wanted the hair removing in. So previously with this Air 3 device, I was doing under my arms and like my pubic area basically. Um, so I, I used the Air 3 for that and I got rid of the hair in that area. Um, so yeah, the results were achieved and I was very happy. But obviously you do have to do like maintenance uses. So inside these boxes I will tell you a bit more about this but you get like a treatment guide it tells you how much to use it and for how long blah 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 um so after the initial first treatment plan that you've done and you kind of you know start getting desired results you still have to do like top up uses so about once a week maybe once a fortnight I've been using the air 10 to try and keep away all those hairs that I wanted obviously to be gone and I am also going to be starting new areas using this as well soon which I will talk more about in a little bit but yeah so so far I've really been enjoying this device. It's very similar in some ways, but it also has a lot of differences. So firstly, I'm just going to talk about the box. So when you first get the Air 10, it'll come in a box like this. Nicely packaged. Both, both items have been beautifully packaged, by the way. And then when you get it out of the box, obviously mine's a bit of a mess now because I've been using it, but you get a English plug. Yeah, I think they do do European as well, but obviously when you buy it, you can choose whether you want English or European, but you get this, and then you also get your adapter. Again, same with both boxes. I'll show you the other adapter in a second, but you do get that, and then you also get this little like pamphlet, which basically gives you an instruction manual and a treatment guide. I'll show you that in a sec. Also inside the box for the Air 10, you get a little razor, which you also get in the first box um, with the Air 3. Now, instead of a big storage box like you do with the Air 3, you get a little bag. And I don't know whether I prefer this or not, because this would make it easier for traveling. But this is the box that you get with the Air 3 device. 
I actually really like this because I just think it's something that just fits into your home really nice. It's a smart looking box, you can store it away. And yeah, I, I mean, both have got its uses. So the Air 3 comes in this and the Air 10 comes in a bag. You could swap and change between both, you know, if you've got both devices like me, you could use this for storing at home and using this for on the go. Up to you. You can also use the original box that it comes in. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know these are the differences between storage wise. So obviously you get Air 3 in this, Air 10 in this. And then another thing that you get in both boxes, which is obviously probably one of the most important things, is your protective eyewear. So obviously I've got two pair of these now, so I've just been using the one from the original box. But um, yeah, the eye protection is very, very important. Now, I just want to quickly show you the difference. Um, so yeah, here's my two razors that I got. This is the Air 3, this is what I got with um, the Air 10. Again, I've got my sunglasses, what I got with the Air 3. Now, with the Air 3, obviously you still get your power cable. Yeah, again another English plug so this is what you get with the Air 10 this is what you get with the Air 3 um, the differences on this um, is these so with the Air 3 they're clasps for you know tidying up your cables like the cable tidies is actually like a little press stud which I did like um, it's like on like a little fake leather strap whereas with the Air 10 Another one that is actually very handy, but it's like more of a softer strap and it's actually Velcro. So slightly different um, cable tidy methods, but both work just as good. And then obviously with the Air 3, this is the size of the adapter. And with the Air 10, this is the size of the adapter. This one's more like slim, more like a rectangle. This one's still quite slim, but more like a square. So doesn't really do anything different. It's just, I'm showing you the different sizing of adapters. Um, just so you know. Um, again, you do get instruction manuals with both devices and a quick start guide. But I am just going to quickly show you this quick start guide, actually. I'm sorry if this doesn't kind of um, flow very well, this video. But I'm one of them who just likes to kind of, you know, talk to you as if I'm sitting down, like, with a cup of tea and actually just showing you how things work. I don't want to be one of those people who come on here with a big strategic video being like, so, first we're going to do this, then we're going to do this. I'm just going to open it up and talk to you in the most natural way that I can because that way I feel like you get the most honest results from. Like, I like to just be open and honest about what I'm talking about and I just think when the conversation naturally flows, it's so much better than having some sort of strategic um, script to read from, do you know what I mean? So yeah, this is the... Um, like user user guide it tells you how to use it it's got a few different languages in there it tells you troubleshooting and all this other stuff and then this is the most interesting interesting important so this is the you like quick start guide ipl hair removal device um it's the hair removal 10. now in here so on the first page it says consistency is key to effective hair removal results so this kind of tells you when not to use it so there's I'll put it here on screen. You can pause this video if you like and um, just read it at your own pace. But yeah, it tells you when not to use it. It also gives you a treatment schedule. So weeks one to four, treat with the device three times a week. For better results during weeks one to four, we recommend treatment every two days. From week five onwards, this is what I was on about, like your top ups. Um, you can adjust the treatment schedule to once every two weeks or once a month, depending on your hair growth. So I tend to do sometimes once a week, sometimes once, a, once every two weeks. It just depends what I can be bothered to do, to be honest. Um, but it basically gives you a diagram of a lady and it shows you all the different areas you can use it on and, you know, the settings that you should be using for. It tells you kind of, you know, just how to go about it and... Um, I just think it's really important it also tells you about IPL so what it is it kind of gives you a rough explanation there it also tells you whether the IPL device will actually work for you so it's got like a little graph again if you want to screenshot this like pause the screen and actually read it at your own pace then feel free to do so um, tells you how to use it it also tells you about their you like patented sapphire ice cooling technology and um, that is something that is really good so on both devices as you can see so this is air 3 
Air 3 is the smaller one, Air, th Air 10 is the bigger one. Both of them have got the sapphire ice cooling thing on the end. And basically what this does is it gives you an almost pain-free um, laser treatment. So it keeps your skin very cool. I can honestly say I have never been hurt by any of these devices. So yeah, I'm so far really happy. Tells you how to use it. Um, it also... Um, one thing I do like about the Air 10, um, it's very straightforward. It's a very nice, simple, quick start guide. It gives you a step-by-step -step on how to use it with images as well, which is really interesting. And like I said, on this, you do get a little treatment tracker, which I think is so good. Because sometimes I forget when I actually should be doing it or when I have doing it, like have done it. I've always just made notes in my diary. Whereas with this, obviously I haven't filled anything in yet because I've just been doing top-ups. But if you are starting again from the beginning, so when I start a new treatment area, which I plan to do my legs soon, um, I will be using this tracker. So I just think it's really good. And then like I said, it tells you about um, your treatment cycle as well. It also tells you tips on how to use the device, choosing the treatment method. So one of the good things is that both these devices come with a um, non-auto glide mode and an auto mode. So basically what that means is, so I'll talk about the Air 10 actually, seeing as that's what the majority of this video is. This big button here, and on the Air 3 it's this one. To use auto mode, you basically turn the device on, hold this down, and then it will bring up some little like dots on here. And you can basically go across your skin like this slowly and it will just flash automatically. Whereas if you turn it on and don't put the auto glide mode on, you will literally wait till it shows that it's available to work. You'll click it, then move, click, move, click, move, click, and so on. So that's just basically how the auto glide works. And in depending on the area that you're using, you'll use a mixture of both. Uh, you'll be able to find the right mode for you. You'll also be able to... Um, you know, because there's three different modes on this IPL10. In fact, there's four, I think. So to set the different modes, all you need to do is turn on your device, obviously with the power button, and then um, it's all like LED on this, which I really, really like. Obviously on this it is, but it doesn't come up as much. It's a smaller display, which I'll show you in a little bit. But um, yeah, so to change the mode, you'll just click your power button and it'll tell you there which mode you need to be in also this apparently has a um, skin sensor as well so when you go onto a certain part of your skin it'll automatically detect kind of what mode you need to be in which i think is a really good thing but if you do want to be in the stubborn hair removal mode then you just click the shr button on the side which is here if i just give you a little close-up um can you see come on it's this one right here if you click that that'll go onto the SHR mode. And camera, I'd like you to zoom back into me. Um, you will have to shave before using this device just because obviously if you don't, then the laser is just gonna target all your hair follicles and you just want the hair removed basically so it can target deep within your skin rather than what's on the surface. Um, there's lots of tips about eye safety, warnings, you know, tells you about what's on the product but yeah this little quick start guide is going to be your best friend when you get this let me tell you so now i'm just going to quickly run through um a few differences like comparing them both like i said i've already mentioned a few um but i've just got some other specifics and like i said i've also got some pictures on screen what i've taken from the ulike website just so if you're more of a visual learner you can read it there um but i'm also going to be talking you through it as well so the Air 3 device is currently £319 and the Air 10 is £369. So obviously there is a slight difference in price, but depending on what sort of skin type you are and, you know, kind of what you want the results to be from it, that will help determine which device you want. Now the effectiveness, I'm just going to read this from here. Apparently the Air 3 has 90% hair density reduction in four weeks. Whereas the Air 10 has a 93% hair density reduction in four weeks. So more than likely you are going to get quicker results from this 
rather than the Air 3. Now a full body treatment with the Air 3 takes around 12 minutes and a full body treatment with the Air 10 takes 10. So depending on how busy you are, if you are a mum like me, I find both just as quick to be honest because I've used them now for a while. But um, depending on how quick you need to be, might be a winning factor on which device you choose. And the good thing is that both of these products are actually you know, usable on the whole body. So in terms of effectiveness, the Ulike Air 3 has visible results within three weeks. And the Ulike Air 10 actually gives you visible results within one week. So yeah, take these as you will, but I'm just gonna be doing a quick compare. So three weeks with this and one week for visible results with the Air 10. So you like Air 10 is actually dual lights, so that might mean that you get a more effective and quicker treatment overall, whereas the Air 3 is actually only a single light product, um, which is probably why it takes just that slight bit longer to get the same kind of results from. So the Ulike Air 3 has a soft body and a power mode, also has auto glide, which is really good. But the Ulike Air 10 actually has the SHR mode and then a fast, normal and high mode. This has four modes and it also does do the auto glide as well. So they both do auto glide. This one, however, has four modes and this has three. So just talking about the Air 10 in specific now, I'm just gonna run through on my phone what you can use the different modes for. So the fast mode is best for maintenance and small touch up. It could be used in the perilabial and lower jaw. High mode is best for removal of coarse thick hair, which for example could be armpits, back or your chest. Normal mode is ideal to remove finer to normal hair, so on your arms or your legs. And then the SHR mode is high intensity treatment to eliminate stubborn hair, for example under your armpits and bikini. So I've got both devices plugged in here as you can see and I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of um, an insight as to how they sound and how they look once they're turned on. So this is the Air 3, the original one that I had. So you turn it on on the side this is as noisy as it is so as you can see you've got your little snowflake button which is for your you know your cooling thing and then these are how you show your power mode so you switch that with your power button and you can see it changing between the different modes and then this is what i meant about the auto glide so you hold this button down and it brings up these dots so that's auto glide on and auto glide off so this is the the fan on the side what you can hear and I do think this is slightly quieter than the Air 10s, which I will show you now. So I'm just going to turn this off. So that's the Air 3, and then this is the Air 10. So I'm just going to turn this on here. To me, this is a lot more powerful, so it has got a bit more of a louder noise. But I don't know if you can see on here, this is the LED screen I was talking about. So again, different modes you press the power button and it changes the modes for you depending on which mode you want um, to put auto glide on you hold this button down there's the dots again so that's auto glide on to turn it off just hold it down again and then if you want the SHR mode just click that button and it puts it into that for you now just bear with there is going to be some flashing lights on this so I'm going to have to show you on my hand but I'm just going to do it here so you can see with this device as well there is a like torch on it which is really good the Air 3 doesn't have that so if I put that on my skin there it's cold to touch like really cold to touch there and you can see the power there just boosting up so there is going to be a flashing light so just be really mindful of that but this is how much it doesn't hurt I'm just testing it on my hand okay so I'm going to click that That is the double flash on the SHR mode that you, you know, you see mentioned in the dual lights thing. You get your two flashes. And I'll just show you what it looks like on normal mode. So, so if I just put it there, that's your dual flash. And it is absolutely freezing, no pain whatsoever. I'm just going to turn that off because it's quite loud. I'm just going to show you what the flash looks like on this. So I don't know if you can tell the difference there just immediately in sound but I'm just going to use the small thing obviously there's no detect on this the air 3 does light up when it's attached to your skin properly and you get the single light flash just be mindful as well 
it does tell you in the leaflet but do not go over any tattoos it is not for tattooed areas so when i do my legs i am going to actually have to strategically go around my tattoos put it that way so that's kind of just wrapped everything up you obviously have seen the differences and similarities between the air 3 and the air 10 you have also learned a little bit of information about the air 10 device you've also just seen a little demo as well on how they work and how they look and sound etc so hopefully by now you'll have kind of come to terms with which device would maybe suit you best like i said if you want more of an in-depth um talk on the air 3 then just check out the video in the description box and you can see an in-depth tutorial kind of on how to use that and how it works it's a bit of an, an unboxing video but you know i feel like if you want a bit more of an in-depth sort of view on the air 3 rather than focusing on the air 10 then that video might be for you but yeah out of both of them i just thought to wrap this video up i'll give my personal opinion obviously i really like the air 10 the stubborn hair removal mode for me is fantastic um especially on like under my arms and bikini because i did find them quite stubborn areas to treat um i just i really like that mode on this i also like the led screen and the auto detect on power mode like you know so you, it just knows what power mode to put you on i really really like that but i will say however the air 3 obviously this is the first device that i started with and i actually love how compact this is because obviously you can see here one of the first differences is the size so you can see one the air 10 is bigger and it's also chunkier i just like how compact the air 3 is and you will have heard the air 3 is a lot quieter than the air 10 not that that matters but you know there's bits of both machines that i really like and yeah i do think the air 10 actually has my heart just because of that stubborn hair um mode what it has and the dual lights i just think it's much more of an effective device because it works quicker um and you know if you're a mum like me who's quite busy i need quick results i need quick results and i need the treatment to be pretty quick which we both know because we've discussed it the treatment mode is a lot quicker for a full body than the air 3 but yeah i overall love both i just love both devices um even though they have been gifted to me this has been nothing but personal you know opinions i wouldn't lie about anything I mean, they did ask me to obviously have my reviews up a lot quicker, but I was like, no, I am not prepared to put these reviews up until I've tried and tested them for myself because if I'm going to promote something on my channel, I need to know that it works. Otherwise, why promote it? But yeah, so I think Air 10 has taken over and won my heart, but this is the OG for me. The Air 3 will always be a favourite, mainly, like I said, the size of it and it's the original. Whereas this... Um, it's just a lot faster and more efficient so yeah there's pros to both depending on what you want but yeah i to be fair i love them both and i also love purple is this color just not stunning but yeah i do have a code by the way as well if you want to save some money that'll be dotted out obviously you'll have already seen it towards the beginning of the video but if you want it again it'll be in the description box it will be staying there so if you want to save a little bit of money you can that is it from me so i hope you've enjoyed this little review um as always keeping it 100 percent on here and um yeah just thought i'd give you the lowdown on the ipl devices of the year apparently um is that an actual title they've got who knows but for me i would personally give them that title so yeah um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you all on the next one Bye guys.